just like power bills, Mondays can be grueling. And if you need some motivation for this week, I'm joined by a local nonprofit that put their hearts into creating, organizing, staffing, and managing running events. Joining me to tell us more about the Seabrook Marathon is Olivia Rivers and Casey Hansen. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for waking up with us. So tell me, Casey, a little bit about the logistics of the Seabrook Marathon. Okay, well, we are so excited this year. It is actually the 20th anniversary of the Seabrook Marathon. And please do not, especially for non-runners or not avid runners, let the word marathon scare you away because it really is a an event for the entire family. Um, we have a 5K, a kids K, um, even a quarter marathon, which is just a little over a 10K, a half marathon, and of course, a full marathon. But it is uh, March 17th, 18th, 19th. It is Seabrook Lucky Trails because it is is always around St. Patrick's Day and um, it really is just a fun event for the entire family. So um, the one of my favorite things about the event is actually um, the swag. As a personal, as a runner myself, I know I'll be running and someone will have a poster to say you're doing this for a t-shirt and a free banana. <laughs> I have to tell you, Seabrook Lucky Trails, they take that to the next level because not only do you get an awesome t-shirt like, like this, um, you'll get a hat as a runner, you'll also get an awesome pair of socks which are actually wonderful as well and um, a medal which of course is very customized. It even flips up and says 20th and anniversary oh, and then every finisher as well um, will get one of these these cups. Um, the city of Seabrook is wonderful supporting this event and it is just um, a, a great place to be and when you have nothing else to do on St. Patrick's Day come out and hang out with us. You said socks so I'm gonna sign up. <laughs> um, I think it's really neat when I was researching this marathon you guys run on nature trails. Tell me about how beautiful and unique that makes this run. It is so um, it is a very unique race um, because of that. Um, so it actually starts in Rex Meadow Park and then runs through, you'll run through neighborhoods, but you'll also run mini trails that are light, um, nothing, nothing too, too rough and, and rigid or anything like that. Run through some trees and then you end up getting to see the water and yeah. back around. Um, the residents come out and cheer you on and it's just, it, it's just a great place to be. Seabrook's a, a great city and um, great place to run and play and good food in the area as well, so. Yeah, and well, and then the cherry on top is we're running for a cause. So tell me more about where the proceeds are going. Yes, we're fortunate to be the charity of choice for this event and it's going towards the Bridge Over Troubled Waters. And we are a nonprofit that provides services to victims of child abuse, domestic violence, trafficking, and stalking. So really you're running against violence and br uh, bringing awareness to a beautiful cause. And we're so grateful for all that Robbie and RAS has done to support uh, our mission. So if somebody wants to do the run, where can they get more information? What's the deadline to sign up? Yes, yeah, so you can visit uh, SeabrookMarathon.org. Um, we will uh, close registrations Monday, March 13th at noon. Um, however, if we're not full, we may still have some, um, you may be able to sign up at the race that day. Um, but as I kind of mentioned, uh, Seabrook is a great place to come and run and stay and make a little vacation out of it. I know it's kind of the end of spring break for some, um, so we'd love to see everybody out there. Yeah, especially in their St. Patrick's scarf. Oh, huh, yeah. Yes, and I'm glad you mentioned that because there's actually a costume contest. I mean, Ooh. bring it all. Have fun for individuals and, and teams as well. Um, and if you're really not into running, we're always looking for volunteers as well. So please reach out to us in any way, and we'd love to have yeah. Well, ladies, thank you so much for joining us and spreading the awareness of Seabrook Marathon. Thank you.